Jesus is no longer on that cross. As a matter of fact, demons love the depiction of the cross because they thought they won. There were many common criminals on crosses. But I have a vision of an empty cross. I have a vision of an empty tomb. Muhammad died and stayed dead. Buddha died and stayed dead. But my Jesus! going to make the deeds of God known. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Rejoice! 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 Some of you have felt depression. Some of you have felt anxiety. Some of you have felt fear. Some of you have felt illness. Many of you have felt pain. But let the hearts, let the hearts of those who seek Him rejoice. Remember the wondrous works that He has done. Remember the wondrous works that he's done. His miracles and the judgments he uttered. Come on, somebody say remember, remember, remember. Somebody say remember. Somebody say remember. Don't you remember when you had the knife to your wrist and you were ready to kill yourself? Don't you? Don't you remember when you had the bottle of pills next to your bed? Don't you remember when you were going to hang yourself? Don't you, don't you remember when you were going to give it all up? Remember. Said remember. Remember when life didn't feel like it was worth living? Why are you here right now? Why are you here right now? Why are you here right now? Why? Because you're not dead. You're not done. You're not done. You're not done. done. Remember. Somebody shout remember. Satan came to kill you. Remember when your stepdad left? Remember when your spouse walked out? Remember when you couldn't pay the bills? Do you remember? Why are you here right now? Why are you here right now? It's a divine appointment. It's a divine appointment. The devil gave you his best shot. But it wasn't enough to defeat the blood of Jesus. The blood has not lost its power. The blood has not lost its power. The blood still heals. The blood still protects. The blood still delivers. 
Now I want to speak to somebody who's saying, why do we have to be so loud? Why do we have to be so emotional? I want to speak to you. Maybe you're not desperate enough. Maybe you're not desperate enough. Come back when you're desperate. If you think you have it all figured out, if you know the whole Bible, you can go home. But I want to know who's desperate. I want to know who's desperate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, one more thing. There are people next to you. They think they know you. Your friends. Your family members. But they don't know the real you. Because the real you hasn't come out yet. But tonight, you have to make up your mind that you don't care what they think. You don't care what they think. Look to your neighbor and say, I don't care what you think tonight. Come on, look to the other one and say, I don't care what you think tonight. Now tell them, I'm getting free. I'm getting healed. I'm getting delivered. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, there's a river that's rising with the anointing. There's a river that's rising with the anointing. There's a river. Come on, I have a master, the Holy Spirit. I'm working for him tonight. There's a river that's flowing. Come on, let's take a few more minutes to break every chain, to break every chain. Come on, let the Lord just begin to minister right now. Father, we thank you for what you're going to do in this place. Father, I thank you for breaking chains. I thank you for healing and delivering. Yes, there's a river. Father, we thank you for your anointing as it's stirring in this place. I'm talking to the old people. Just begin to pray right now. Come on, push in a little bit. If you have a heavenly language, just begin to pray in the spirit right now. Come on, and just begin to pray in the spirit right now. Come on, don't let the enemy muzzle you. Don't let shame silence you. Don't let shame silence you. Begin to pray. Come on, I want to see some teenagers who can pray. Come on, begin to press in. Begin to press in. Come on up to heavenly places. Come on up to high places right now. I want to teach you an important lesson. 
It's easy for you to be healed. It's easy for you to be delivered. But what I want is freedom that remains. Now I've got to say some things that are not popular in most churches. Jesus would get kicked out of most churches. Jesus wouldn't get invited. But I want to say the words of Jesus. Is that all right? At most churches, at the end of the service, you're asked if you want to accept Jesus to be your Savior. Oftentimes, it's a 15-second prayer. I believe that that's the first step, but not the last step. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that He is the Messiah and you will be saved. But then I see Jesus taking people deeper. I see Jesus in the Scriptures asking people to give everything up everything all all but see in most churches we get very good at confessing our sin but not repenting of our sin we become honest sinners we become transparent sinners we admit that we sin but we never repent of our sins repentance means no turning back I'm giving all I'm giving all and so tonight I'm bringing the words of Jesus Jesus didn't say everybody raise your hand and accept me as your savior that's too easy Jesus said no one builds a house without considering the cost think about what you're going to do because being a Christian is not easy it's not even hard it's impossible I told you a mystery it's impossible Jesus died on a cross, so you will also have to carry a cross. You have to step into the impossible. The Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And so you must operate in faith. And so to be a Christian is to give everything to give your pornography addiction to give your pornography addiction you can't have that and have Jesus because if you'll serve one master and try to serve the other you'll always love one and hate the other and if you keep going back to pornography you've proven that you love porn more than Jesus and your master is pornography because Jesus said to follow me you've got to give me everything everything if you're using e-cigarettes smoking cigarettes marijuana drinking alcohol and getting drunk it's a, it's a counterfeit comfort what, what do I mean? Oh, it will help you a little bit. It'll calm your nerves a little bit. It'll make you have a good time for a little while. But Jesus said, to follow me, you have to give me everything. Because I want to give you a greater comfort. I want to give you the Holy Spirit. I want you to get drunk on new wine. I said, I want you to get drunk on new wine. And so you might have to give up pills. Not because the pills don't work, but because Jesus has something better. You might have to give up pornography. 
but not because it doesn't satisfy a little bit because God's prepared you for sexual fulfillment through the covenant of marriage but I'm asking you to think about what you're going to do many pastors want to grow their church Jesus often shrank the church because he didn't lie to them he told them narrow is the way I said narrow is the way if you want to be a true believer it's not just hard it's impossible it requires faith you can't do it on your own you can't do it in your own strength there's many Christians who are trying to read the Bible more pray more but they have not surrendered more and so I'm going to ask you in a few seconds not do you want to pray a 15 second prayer not do you want to feel goosebumps and chills not do you just want to say you're a Christian but are you ready to finally give all I'm not there yet people tell me and I've heard this at every stop and I've preached this at every stop Pastor Mike Christians can't have demons and you know what I tell them standing in a garage does not make you a car just like standing in church does not make you a Christian how do you know that they've surrendered all there are many areas in your life right now I want you to search them because the way that you're going to get free tonight is you are going to give your life completely to Jesus and then when that happens we are going to tell every demon they don't belong to you anymore it's time to go we're going to tell sickness and disease this is not your body anymore this is the temple of the Holy Spirit so when you give yourself completely you do not belong to yourself anymore but you belong to Jesus but you have to give everything take a few more seconds close your eyes remove all the distractions I want you to think can you actually give all can you actually surrender all think about it you're going to have to give him doubt you're going to have to give him forgiveness of the person who molested you you're going to have to forgive the person who raped you you're going to have to forgive the father that left you you cannot ask Jesus for forgiveness but have unforgiveness against other people when I ask you if you'll give all all means all you're going to have to forgive your mother who was cold and mean when you needed her to comfort you you're going to have to forgive the other pastors that rejected and hurt you you're going to have to go deep take a few more seconds because the only way you'll be free is if you're willing to go really deep and surrender all the Holy Spirit is working right now he's going to empower you to forgive he's going to give you power now only if you say yes don't say yes yet I don't want you to do this out of emotion but the Holy Spirit is going to empower you you've never been able to forgive but you will be able because he's going to give you power you've never been able to be righteous you've always made mistakes you've always sinned but he's going to give you power to live righteous 
But all you have to do is surrender all. Two more seconds. Now I ask, who will give all? Lift up your hands if you'll give all. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah! Everybody now, under the sound of my voice, repeat after me, Heavenly Father, I give you all of me. I thank you for the cross where I was forgiven of all my sins. Wash me by your blood. I, you can have my mind. You can have my emotions. You can have my appetite. You can have my desires. You can have my heart. I unlock every door. Every trauma. Every memory. All of it. I surrender. My physical body. My genetic. My inheritance. I surrender it all. I give it all to you, Jesus, now. I belong to you, Jesus. I belong to you. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Whoa. Somebody is saved for the very first time right now. Now I want to speak to every demon who can hear me. You will not have them. Today is your last day in their life. They don't belong to you. I make a promise. I'm coming for you. You can't hide. They belong to Jesus. I'm sending you to the abyss. I'm sending you to the pit. Church, how many of you believe in spiritual warfare? Okay. Are you with me? Because it's about to get crazy. Are you with me? For some of you, that was the very first time you surrendered fully. But it's time to do an eviction. I live in New York City. Sometimes the lease to the apartment is broken. But people still stay in the apartment. And they have to show up with a sheriff who has a badge. And they come into the apartment and they say, you are illegal. You don't have a lease. You must go. Right now when you said that prayer, the lease was broken to the devil. And I've got a badge from heaven. And I'm getting ready to show up and say it's time to go. You're going to see people convulse. You're going to see people shake. You're going to hear screams all over this place. But I can tell you this. It's the screams of demons coming out. I want to read you a story. In Mark chapter 9. There was a boy with an unclean spirit. Jesus was being argued with by religious people. Religious people always have an argument, but they never have power. Religious people always have an argument, but they never have power. There's a lot of religious people that argue the scriptures, but have no power. In Mark chapter 9, Jesus walked away from the argument. Because there was a boy who had a demon. His father said, my boy needs to be free. And Jesus said to him, all things are possible for the one who believes. If you don't believe, it's not possible. But if you believe, it's possible. Immediately. Somebody say immediately. The father of the child cried out, I believe. Help my unbelief. Some people, they don't want help with their unbelief. 
But I want to know, is there anybody here who says, I believe? And when Jesus saw that the crowd came running, this crowd came running. There are people who drive from five hours away to be here tonight. They came running. They came running. The crowd came running after Jesus. And he rebuked the mute and deaf spirit. And he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing terribly, it came out. And the boy, the boy was completely free. Some people are already receiving deliverance right now in this room. Now, why do I say this? Because right now, some demons are even connected to sickness. This boy was deaf and mute. He did not need hearing aids. He needed deliverance from a demon. There are some of you that you need freedom here tonight. I want to start with this. Let's now start with forgiveness. Would you close your eyes? Because there are spirits of bitterness, rage, anger, murder. Things have been done to you that have made you feel like you could never forgive. And it wasn't right what was done to you. But you have to forgive because Jesus forgave you. In the next few moments, I'm going to ask you all over this place from the front to the back to begin to call out the names of the people you forgive. And some of you are going to immediately get free. You're going to feel demons wanting to come out of you. My prayer team is going to go from the front to the back and lay hands on you and cast the demons out. But some of you you need to take this step. Will you be bold tonight? I'm speaking to somebody who was sexually abused. It wasn't right what happened to you. But if you live with unforgiveness, that person who abused you is still abusing you because you're rehearsing it in your mind. You have to finally forgive. Not because they deserve forgiveness but because you deserve freedom. And so now, many of you, I want you to do this. Close your eyes and lift your hands. And I'm going to count to three. And I want you to begin to say their names and say, I forgive. One, two, three. Now, I forgive Tim. I forgive Joseph. I forgive Anthony. I forgive Susan. I I forgive whoever it is. Say their name. Say their name. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. Come on, release them. If you feel resistance, it's demonic resistance. Get the words out. Come on, forgiveness, forgiveness. I forgive them, whatever their name is. Begin to call it out right now. Begin to say it out loud. I forgive. Whoever it is, say, I forgive them. Come on, the Holy Spirit. There it is. Somebody's manifesting in the back. Here it is, right here. Come on, there's more. Say their names. The Holy Spirit will remind you. Somebody is forgiving their father right now. Say it, I forgive my father. Freedom! Looser, devil, now. Come out. Out. Out now in the name of Jesus. Out. Every spirit of bitterness. Every spirit of anger. Out. Loose him now. Dan, lay your hand on his forehead. Come out now. Every single one of you foul spirits. Out. Now. Now. 
There's more people who need to forgive their father. There's more people who need to forgive their father. Come on, we're going deeper. We're going deeper. Tonight, I want all of you to get free. God can even deal with you in your seats in the back. Come on, you can receive freedom. Forgive your father. Release him. Say the words, I forgive. Wow. There's many physical conditions connected to unforgiveness. Rheumatoid arthritis. Is there anybody here who needs healing from rheumatoid arthritis? Wave your hand at me like this. Someone in the back. Someone here. Three people. Father, we release your healing power now over rheumatoid arthritis. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Julie, place your hand on her now. Oh, healing power. Rheumatoid arthritis. Be healed now. Healed now. Every bone, every joint, every tendon. Now, heal, heal, heal. Wow. The anointing of God is so strong, some of you are feeling it even increase in the room. You're going to feel it continue to increase. I want you to check your body throughout the night because you might be healed and not even realize what he did. Lower back pain be healed now in the name of Jesus. Lower back pain be healed now in the name of Jesus. Lower back pain be healed now. Wow. Is Pastor Patrick here? He's here? Pastor Patrick, come here. Come right here, right here, right here. Right here. All right, the Lord has been having me deal. Right here, just stand right there. This is Pastor Patrick. Can you wave to everybody? The Lord has had, wants me to deal. I feel it very strongly here in Boston tonight. There are many of you who have been abandoned or hurt by a father. Some of you have absent fathers. Some of you, your father died. And you say, where is my father? Who's going to give me advice? Who's going to help me? Some of you were abused physically, sexually by a father. Some of you need to do this right now. I want you to come out of your seat and I want you to come to Pastor Patrick because he's going to embrace you as a spiritual father. And he represents reconciliation with your father. And as he, as he gives you a hug, it's going to break that off of you. And as he hugs you, you're going to feel the hug of your heavenly father. And you are going to release your earthly father. And so come, come, if you need that embrace. Wow. Yes, yes, her, her, her. Wow. Wow. There's some men here that have never heard the words, I'm proud of you, son. There's some men here who've never heard the words, I'm proud of you, son. And tonight, the Lord is saying, I'm proud of you. He's saying, I'm proud of you. He's saying, I'm proud of you. Right now, right now, right now. You in the white t-shirt. Come up, come up for it. I'm going to have him pray with you in a few moments. But I want to publicly say this. For many are called, but few are chosen. Your whole life 
you've battled with being misunderstood, not feeling like you fit anywhere because you don't. Hold on, Patrick, stay right here. Because you don't fit in. And you'll never fit in completely because you're a chosen one. And you're needed. And you, your life has had many battles. And you've had to fight. Because from a young age, the devil saw who you were to become. And he fought you. But I'm here to declare that he lost. And today, you're stepping in and you're going to a higher level. And so when Patrick gives you this hug right now, this is an embrace from your Father in heaven. Welcome to the next season. We thank you for the anointing from the top of his head to the soles of his feet right now, God. We thank you for breaking every chain of bondage off of him now. Yes, rejection. We break it now in the name of Jesus. That's it. That's it. Stay in this moment. There's more. Wow. Come on. There's more. I'm going to ask this question in a very general way. Ask to respect your privacy. If you're a daughter and you have forgiven and you've stepped into freedom, would you just wave at me? Wow. 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 Come on, let me pray for you. Father, I pray for every lioness, the daughters here, that they would rise up with boldness, heal them, release them from every chain of bondage right now. Free them now. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Yes, over every single daughter now. Yes. No, 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 no. I need you to pray for her right there. This woman with the hoop earrings. I want to pray for you right now. Let me, let me, let me talk. I'm going to prophesy to her real quick before you begin to pray. Yeah, come on. And then come on, come over here. In the spirit, there has, there have been many things from your past that are chasing you coming after you and this, right now there is a line and there and it's a bloodline and Jesus is saying after tonight it will no longer chase you it will no longer come after you and what I see in the spirit is you came to get free you came to go to the next level but I've got another word for you that you have spiritual daughters many many spiritual daughters and as you are faithful God is going to raise you up higher and higher and you will be known you'll be known by demons and you'll be known by angels and you'll be known by spiritual daughters because you said yes because you didn't give up so lift your hands right now I cancel every assignment I break the power of Jezebel. I break the power of Ahab. Loose her now and let her go. Every spirit of control, loose her mind now in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft and divination, everything through the generations, I command you to loose her now in the name of Jesus. Out, every spirit that's remaining. Out, out, out. Everything that's remaining, everything that's lingering, she's going to be totally free. Not anything left now. Out, 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 out. There's more. There's more from her past. From her past. From her past. Whoa, there it is. Wow, there it is. There it is. Wow. Anointing, anointing, anointing. Wow. The power of God is all over you right now. Bring him, bring him, bring him. Come on. Wow. Wow. What's happening? 
Freedom. You feel it? You feel it? Wow. The presence of God is all over you. Lift your hands. So good. What's that? So good. Huh? So good. Selvin? Yeah. Can you lift your hands? Father, I thank you now for breaking every chain. Set them free, God. Oh, there it is. Every tormenting spirit. Loose his mind now. I break the power of every tormenting spirit right now off of his mind. Every tormenting spirit that's been lying to him. I break your power now. You cannot have him. I break your hold off of his mind now. Loose him in the name of Jesus. Wow, freedom, freedom, freedom. When the power of God's all over you right now. Yes, wow. He's just shaking and just weeping under the presence of God. It's so beautiful. Isn't it so beautiful to see God ministering to our young people? Stay, just stay there. All right, I want to ask a question. Now from the front to the back, whether you can get here or not, the Holy Spirit has no boundaries. He can reach you right where you're at. But I want to tell you that the enemy wants to kill. There are people who go to family events and they're laughing and they're having a good time and everything seems fine. But then all of a sudden, days later, they kill themselves. And the families always tell me, Pastor Mike, we never saw it ha coming. They were just laughing. Everything seemed okay. So right now I want to ask a question. Who here has been suicidal? Who here has struggled with thoughts of suicide? I want you to come up now. I want you to come up now. Come out of the darkness. Wow. Wow. Come on. Even leaders, even pastors, I'm talking about suicide. Don't be ashamed. It's time to take the mask off. It's time to take off the mask. If you've been struggling with suicide, come forward, come forward. Some of you for years and years. Wow. Now I want to prove to you here who are skeptical. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. Before I was getting ready to talk about suicide, a young person came up front and handed our team a book and said, I need to get rid of this book and I need deliverance. I just read the title of this book right now. Do you know what it says? How to be depressed. A guide. What a demonic book. A book saying how to be depressed. How many of you know that this is a lie from the pit of hell? How many of you know this is a lie from the pit of hell? We don't have to be depressed. We can experience the joy of the Lord. Look at this. Freedom, freedom. Dep suicide. Suicide. You're here to support. Wow. Suicide. Suicide? Who else? Who else? I want to know who needs freedom. Who else from suicide? Come over here. Who else from suicide? I know there's more. The Holy Spirit's telling me somebody is afraid of what other people are going to think about them. And every single revival tour stop, somebody said... I was afraid because my family never knew. But listen, your family's going to find out if you don't come into the light of Christ. So come now. Please. Please. It's okay. Prophetic people often are fought with suicide. The prophet Elijah, he was suicidal. He sat under a tree and he said, God, I'm the only prophet left. Now kill me. 
he was suicidal. Oftentimes the most suicidal people are the most prophetic people. God wants to use him spiritually in a very supernatural way. So I'm going to ask one more time. Are you coming? Is it you? For suicide. Is it you? Suicide. Who is it? It's you. Come, come, come. Wow. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. 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 <laughs> Come on, church, pray. There's suicides being canceled tonight. Come on, stretch your hands forth and pray. Every lie from the pit of hell, where that she's rehearsed her suicide. She will live and not die. I break off every single life from the enemy now in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold where she's been re tortured to rehearse it, tortured by the thoughts, I cancel it now, even from a young age. Even from a young age. And I command that spirit of death and grief to loose you now and let you go now. Out, out, suicide, go. Suicide, go. You will not have her. She belongs to Jesus. She will not die. Now, in the name of Jesus, freedom, 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 freedom. Go, 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 grief out. Yes. Woo. Wow, there it is. It's breaking. I feel. Whoa. Yes. Restore, restore. That's it. Yes, years and years of pain. Years and years of silent pain. Years and years of silent crying. Years and years. Come out. Years and years of pain. Go. Years and years of pain. Have to go. Years of silent struggle. There's a burden coming out of you. There's a burden coming out of you. The burden of silently struggling. The burden of silently carrying it. The burden, it's coming out of you. Out. Continue to pray with her, Jules. Here, I want to, I want to, I want to personally thank you. But let me tell you why. Because I've been suicidal. I've tried multiple times. And when I saw you, I want to, and here's why I want to thank you. I want to thank you on behalf of every single person who needs your story. I want to thank you on behalf of everyone because what I saw in the spirit was a crowd around you and they were all saying thank you, thank you, thank you. As a matter of fact, I know this sounds crazy, but I saw it even internationally. I saw it. people were saying thank you in many different languages and they were saying thank you. You're about to be released supernaturally into your purpose and your destiny. And you've been feeling like you keep hitting a lid. Like, what does it matter? I see a spirit of despair that's been assigned to you philosophically. And But see, God is about to redeem your intelligence. It's a gift, not a curse. I don't know what I'm speaking into right now. But the Lord says, your intelligence is by my design. I made you. And he's about to redeem your intellect. He's about to redeem it. He's about to redeem it. And then the last thing I want to say is I see you as a child. And he's dealing with some childhood things right now. But I also see the imagination of a child. And I see your imagination come fooling a lot. It's almost like black and white is turning into color, full spectrum right now. And so I'm going to begin to pray for you. And I did this privately because I, I just felt like the Lord told me to deal with you that way. Because you're not about a spectacle. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord is honoring you right now. And you're about to experience a miracle in your mind. It's almost like he's going to physically begin to restructure your brain, even on a cellular level. And the kingdom of heaven is going to begin to colonize your brain. And you're going to step into this next season, and doors are going to open that only our God. Father, I thank you right now. Thank you. Yes. I thank you, Father. I thank you for restoring. I thank you for restoring, renewing, 
right now. Father, we break every chain of bondage. I command every spirit masquerading as false intellectualism, every demon, I cancel your assignment on his life now. And I command you to loose him and let him go now. Every single demonic spirit that's lied to him, masquerading, I bind you now and command you to loose him and let him go now and go to the abyss, go to the pit now, never to return. You can't have him. Suicide, go in the name of Jesus. Death and despair, premature death, even from his father's side, premature death, even through the generations, come out. Loose him now in the name of Jesus. You cannot have him. You cannot have him. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for breaking, 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 breaking all depression, all despair, all anxiety, all fear. Loose them. You have not given them the spirit of fear, but of love and power and a sound mind. How do you feel? <laughs> yes, hallelujah. <laughs> you look different. Wow. Hallelujah. Freedom. 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 Wow. Wow, look at him. This young man here, I just prayed him through deliverance. He came up here suicidal. All of a sudden, I saw his face when he went down. And then I saw his face when he came up. And I said, how do you feel right now? And he had a big smile on his face. He said, I feel amazing. Transformation is happening. Transformation is happening. Here. Let me pray for this guy real quick. I'm just being obedient to the Holy Spirit, but stay there. <laughs> okay, I want, I want to tell you something. Your joy and your laughter is a weapon. Your laughter is a weapon. And God is going to give you an atomic level. I don't even know how to interpret that. He's going to give you a joy that's like a bomb. And where you've been in so much pain, you are going to make other people laugh and you're going to give them joy. And the, the gift that God has for your life is so unique. It's so unique. And people need you to be you. But right now, you're going to be delivered from suicide because you're not going to die. You're going to live. You're not going to die. You're going to live. And all of these people right now, they affirm you. You're accepted. I said you're accepted. You're loved. Come on. Can, can you show him the love of the Father right now? I want you to look. I want you to look for a second. Look at all them. Wow. Let me pray for you, okay? Because the Bible says that Satan is the father of all lies. So if he says you're stupid, that means you're smart. If he says you're ugly, that means you're beautiful. If he says nobody cares about you, that means many people care about you. If he says you don't have a future, it's because he's afraid of your future. And so every lie he says, it revealed the truth. Would you lift your hands? Yeah, and this is just a sign of surrender. Church, can you extend your hands towards him? I know you can't see it, but he's just weeping because he's stepping into the truth. What was your name? Jeremy. So proud of you. Father, I thank you for your son, Jeremy. I declare that he will live and not die. I cancel every lie from the enemy upon him now. I break every stronghold down. 
of lies from the enemy in the name of Jesus. And I command that spirit of suicide to come out of him now. Come out of his mind. Come out of his emotions. Out! Out! Depression, come out now. Despair, go! 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 Out! Now! I command you out. You cannot have him. He doesn't belong to you. Out! Now! Now! Go! 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 Every single one of you manipulating spirits, go now in the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Out in the name of Jesus. No hot. There it is. Wow. There it is. Jeremy does not belong to you. He doesn't belong to you. You've tortured him for too long. And I command you out. I command you out. Now. Every single one of you. Try to say this with me, okay, Jeremy? I want you to say this. Say, I, Jeremy, I, Jeremy, belong to Jesus. Belong to Jesus. And now I command. And now I command every spirit, every spirit of, death of death and suicide, and suicide, grief, grief, depression, depression, all of you, all of you, to loose me, to loose me. Let me go. Let me and go. Come out now. And come out I don't now. belong to you. I don't belong. You to must you. come out. <laughs> yeah, there it is. You must come out. Tell them, you must come you out. Must come out, come out of me now. Come out of I don't me belong now. to you. I don't belong to you. Out. <laughs> out. There it is. Out. I break your power. I render you powerless. I render you powerless. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Oh, there it is, Jeremy. Come on. Out. 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 Now. Now. Here it is. Out. Whoa. Out. Now, every single one of you, up and out, up and out, up and out, every last one of you, up and out, now, 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 yes, out, out of his mouth, up and out now, you must go, you stubborn spirits, we break your power now. Yes, you must go now, every single one of you, up and out, up and out, every single one of you. Yes, Jeremy does not belong to you. Go now, I command you now, I command you now, 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 now. now. And now, continue to pray with him, continue to pray with him. Now I want to tell you what you're witnessing. There are some very stubborn spirits. Now you see why we started with surrenderedness. There are spirits that are in people's lives for decades. How many of you are okay with us taking a little time? There are things in people's lives for years. Come on. Now I want to tell you what happened. I begin to take Jeremy through the process of deliverance. And when he told these spirits, come out of me, he began to growl. The demons begin to growl. There's many demons who hate the sound of you taking authority over them. Come on. But we're not backing down tonight. We're not backing down tonight. There's so much freedom that's happening from front to back. Come on, we want to continue to pray for you tonight. This is revival, this is revival, this is revival. The Bible says that witchcraft is forbidden. Speaking to the dead, 
Necromancy, it's forbidden. But there's many people here in the Northeast that do witchcraft. Some of you here don't think that you do it, but you do. I'm talking about horoscopes. I'm talking about going to psychic mediums. I'm talking about burning sage. I'm talking about voodoo. I'm talking about reading your sign. It's witchcraft. I want to give you another form of witchcraft that many people don't know about. Drug usage. In the Bible, there's the word pharmakia. What does that sound like? Pharmacy. And so many times, people are doing recreational drugs. Doesn't that sound like a life from the pit of hell? Recreational. There's nothing recreational about it. It's destructive. It opens the doorway to the demonic. There's many of you who've smoked marijuana, LSD. Come on, I'm talking about heroin. I don't know what it is, but we're getting ready to break witchcraft, mind control, manipulation, domination, control. But I want to start with this before we do this. If you have something here with you that you know the Holy Spirit is convicting you of to say it's time to give it up. I want you to come and bring it to the altar right now. Bring it to the stage right now. It could be pills. It could be cigarettes. E-cigarettes. I don't know what it is. It could be something that you know you need to give up. Crystals. Sage. Whatever it is. Come now. Come now. If there's something that you need to bring, bring it now. If it represents something, bring it now. Come now, come now. I'm going to give you a chance. Come out of hiding with it. Okay, I'm going to allow them to continue to come. Now, if you're here and you're, and you're thinking, well, Pastor Mike, I haven't done any of the things you mentioned. The Bible talks about the sins of the fathers and the mothers being visited on the generations for three and four generations. What does that mean? Jesus came to break the curse. But there are things that translate through the family. There are people who told me, I never knew I needed freedom from witchcraft. But witchcraft runs in my family. And I begin to manifest and demons came out. And so there could be generational witchcraft. And so right now from the front to the back of the room, everyone watching online, we're going to deal with witchcraft. Would you pray this prayer with me right now? Father, forgive me for all forms of witchcraft. Drug use, tarot cards, psychic mediums, horoscopes, all forms of witchcraft, Ouija boards, communication with the dead, speaking to dead relatives, all forms of witchcraft. Forgive me now. Forgive me now. And I break and release myself from every curse of witchcraft, even in the generations. And I command every unclean spirit every familiar spirit, every witchcraft spirit to come out of me now in the name of Jesus. Come out now. Out. Out now. From the front to the back. Out. 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 We break the power now of every demonic spirit. She will be a prophetess and rise up. No false identity. Father, I thank you for complete and total freedom now. Witchcraft be broken. Witchcraft be broken. Now, now. There it is. There's many people getting free of witchcraft. I can see it all over the room right now. Wow. 
Wow. Many people getting free from witchcraft. demonic spirit that is trying to hold you back must come out now. I'm speaking to witchcraft. I'm speaking to it even in the bloodline and I command you to go now in the name of Jesus. She is a daughter of the king and she doesn't belong to you and you've got to come out right now. Every spirit of rejection even from the womb you must come out now in the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right now in the name of Jesus. Freedom. Yes. Yes. Out, 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 out. Now. Now, 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 now. Out, out, out. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. There it is. Out. Go. 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 Leave her mind now. Leave her mind now. Out. Go. In the name of Jesus. Every single one of you now. Out. Woo. Now you must go. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes, I release peace. I release peace. I release peace now. Where there's been torment. Where there's been torment, I release peace now. Wow. Restore and heal. There it is. Come on, just let the Lord begin to minister to you. Fill her now, God. Fill her now, God. Fill her, God, now. Wow, the anointing's all over you. There it is. Fill her now, God. Fill her. Yes, yes. Fill her back. Wow. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel peace. What's that? I feel peace. You feel peace? Yeah. <laughs> I see it all over you. <laughs> you feel peace? <laughs> Does your mind feel quiet? Like for the first time? Yes. <laughs> she said her mind, she just feels peace. See, sometimes you get deliverance. It's the first time you had a clear mind in a long time. Listen, I'm okay with that screaming because that's the sound of a child of God getting free. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, come on. Come on, we got more to do. Are you guys with me a little bit longer? And I gotta say that, and let me tell you why I say that. Because the Bible says, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. And so the devil's counting on you getting tired. He's counting on you backing up. He's counting on you getting distracted. Is there anybody who will go a little bit deeper with me right now? Who will say, I'm gonna press in. Come on, come on, come on. I want to deal with premature death, though. Sometimes in families, premature death is on one or both sides of the family. Wave at me if there's premature death that runs in your family. Wow. Wow, I want to deal with that. Premature death. Premature death. Just wave at me. Is there anybody in the back? Premature death. All right, I want to begin to pray. Now listen, this venue is completely filled max capacity. I've had 
my team came up from New York and from Indiana. And so we are praying for as many people one on one. But I'm about to ask the Holy Spirit to do something special. I'm going to ask Him to assist us in ministry so that He can minister directly to you. And so as we begin to pray for freedom from premature death, some of you are going to feel the power of God hit you so strong that you're literally going to just fall back into your seat. Because I have to trust that God's going to free you right now. And so from the front to the back, if you need freedom from premature death, I want to deal with that. Just keep your hands up. Father, right now, I thank you that the curse stops with them. And right now I speak to premature death. Every curse be broken. Every spirit on assignment. I command you to leave now. I command you to go now. And Father, I thank you for freedom from premature death. We just prophesy and declare that they will live to see the fullness of their days right now. And God, I thank you that the curse of premature death is broken off of them now in the name of Jesus. Now they will live to see the fullness of their days. They will see the fullness of their days. Bring me this cup of you guys. Yeah. Come on, yeah, both of you guys, come on. How are you connected? Okay, it's interesting that both of you raised your hand for premature death. It's interesting. I want to I want to say something publicly in front of everybody here because I feel like God has brought me on this tour for a designation of promotion and an impartation of the anointing. There's a hunger on both of you. There's a desire to see more. And you it's almost like you've been in a dry and weary place. And people have told you, but look at this and look at that and look at this. God is doing some amazing things, but it's so small in comparison to what he showed you. And you know how I know? Because I feel the anointing. Because what you carry is common to me. But I want to tell you that God is about to do it. And tonight is a sign to you to show you what's possible. But I'm going to lay hands on you because premature death runs on my father's side and on my mother's side. And so I'm speaking from a place of authority that I have now gone further than I should have ever gone. And you are going to step in. And there is going to be, this is what I see in the spirit. There has been been major demonic resistance on you. And you feel like you're running, but in slow motion. Like when you're in a dream and you're running and you're in slow motion. But the Lord is about to accelerate you. The Lord is about to release you and you're going to pick up the pace. And Julie, can you come over? This is my wife because we operate together as well. Cheers, will you stretch your hands toward them because this is a monumental moment in their life. Because I'm here. (laughs) This is going to be weird. I see underneath your feet, way down deep, is a well of living water, revival waters. And there might be a temptation to go here and to go there. But when you go deep, there's a well. You're going to tap a well of revival waters. And that well is going to be a generational well. And people will come and drink. The anointing is increasing even while I'm speaking right now. I hear the Lord saying that even people from other nations will come and they will seek to drink from that well. They will seek from that well. They will seek from that well. So lift your hands because I feel it strengthening right now. Father, an impartation of the anointing right now. Father, I release now signs, wonders, miracles, signs, miracles, wonders. I release an oil of deliverance, an oil of salvation, an oil to be a herald that declares the Lord, that will be one that speaks. And Father, that they herald and deliver your word. Father, I thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Father, we release it. Dan, put your hand on his stomach. Put your hand on his stomach, Dan. Father, anointing, anointing. We 
thank you for an increase of the anointing, an increase of authority, an increase of authority. Yes, yes, yes. Holy Spirit, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire. Fresh fire. Bring me this guy. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Fire fall! A fresh fire! A fresh fire! A fresh fire! Fire fall upon him! The fire of the Holy Spirit! Yes, fire fall. More, more. There's a fire that's falling upon you now. Yes, there it is. <laughs> the Lord showed me that you were jealous, <laughs> but a good jealousy. <laughs> he said, son, that's okay. That's okay for wanting more. That's okay. Matter of fact, your jealousy provoked the Lord right now. You were, I saw holy jealousy. That's from the Holy Ghost. Come on, want more. Matter of fact, he's giving you more desire, more hunger. Come on, more fire, more fire. He sees you. You're not forgotten. The Lord sees you. He's going to promote you. He's going to put you in position. Come on. You've been faithful in the background. You've been faithful behind the scenes, but he's going to lift you up. Come on, David. you got a Davidic anointing on your life. There it is. <laughs> you didn't think I saw. <laughs> Come on. The Lord saw. There it is. There it is. Yes, yes. Come on. Fresh fire is falling on you right now. <laughs> fresh fire. Whoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, the Lord is just doing something so special right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, oh, shame and make it. Yeah. Is there anybody here with cancer? Come now, come now. Anybody with cancer? We've been seeing tumors and cysts dissolve. Is there anybody with cysts or tumors? Come. They've been dissolving. Tumors, cysts. You, you coming to support cancer? Tumors and cysts? Okay, okay. Anybody else? Cysts, tumors. Yes? Yes? That is it. It's a cyst? I don't know what it is, but it feels like 
Okay, we're believing for it to dissolve. Come over here, come over here, there's more. Hey, how you doing? Tumors and cysts. Cancer. Now, I want to tell you that there are people from the medical community that faithfully attend our church. Renowned doctors attend our church. Luke was a physician. But then Luke became an apostle. Why? Because medicine carries a power. But the great physician is Jesus. And he carries a greater power. And so I challenge everyone here. Go to the doctor. Get a medical verification of what Jesus is about to do. Now, we're going to pray for tumors and cysts. How many of you here believe that at the sound of my voice, cancerous cells will die in the name of Jesus? We've been receiving testimonies all week long. How many of you believe at the sound of my voice that tumors and cysts will die? All right, stretch your hand forward towards all of these people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command every tumor, every cyst to dissolve now in the name of Jesus. I speak to cancer and I command every cancer cell to die in the name of Jesus now. Die in the name of Jesus now. Every cancer cell, yes, in the name of Jesus. I release the healing power of God. Oh, now in the name of Jesus. We command this to dissolve now. Yes, now. Under the power of God. Heal, heal, heal. Tumors and cysts now. Heal now. Now. Every cell now. Jesus name. Jesus name. Yes, here it is. He's healing you now. Be healed. Yes, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. You will not die. 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 But you will live in full health. In full health. Healing's happening right here. We're going to sing that declaration. Thank you, Bree. Now, I want to tell you this. In the Bible, Lucifer, he said the phrase, not I'm greater than God, but I am like God. And he was ejected from heaven. One third of all the angels were also ejected from heaven. We're about to sing the words of this song. And it's the phrase, who is like the Lord? And the answer is no one. You hear the screams of demons. They hate this declaration. Because cancer dies. Sickness dies. There is none like the Lord. He is the one in control. He is the one to be worshipped. Bree, begin to sing that. Come on, sing that. Who is like the Lord? Church, sing it out. Begin to sing it out. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? No one, no one, no one. He is high and lifted up. Come on, church, sing it. Who is like the Lord? No one.
The glory of the Lord is about to fall in this place. Continue to sing. Who is like the Lord? Here in Boston, there is only one God. High and lifted up. No one is like him. Glory fall. Glory fall. Let the glory fall. Glory fall. Glory fall. Yes, and Rebbe es, and Rebbe kete es. There is only one God. There is only one God here in Boston. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? Glory fall. The glory of the Lord fall. The glory of the Lord fall. Who is like? Come on, keep pushing in, church. The glory is falling. This is the atmosphere of the miraculous. Come on, keep pressing in. Principalities are coming down in Boston. We're taking this territory back. It belongs to Jesus. Who is like? From the port, from the port, from the gate, from the gate, from the gate, the gates won't prevail, won't prevail. Come on, the glory is descending in this place. The glory of the Lord is descending in this place. hear a horn? You hear a horn? Oh. You don't hear it? You guys don't hear a horn? Wow. You hear it? Like I hear it. I hear a horn.
We're sorry if we ignored you. We're sorry if we had other plans. Holy Spirit. Come on. Ooh. There's people just reconciling. I want to do this. This is very important. So in the Bible, the apostles would go from town to town, city to city. And as they showed up, they would ask a question. They would say, do you know Jesus? And in the book of Acts, they would say in some towns, yes, we've received Jesus. The baptism of John. They've been baptized in water. And then the apostles would say, but have you been baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire? And so I'm here to ask you, Boston, have you been baptized in the Holy Spirit? There's some of you who've only experienced salvation, but you've never been baptized in the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. It says, after the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power to be my witnesses. And so we have a little bit more to go. Are you with me? Just a little, little bit more to go. But see, I want all the way in the back as well. I want to create a moment where you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Is there anybody who has desired to speak in tongues? The Apostle Paul said, I desire that you would all speak in tongues, that you would all prophesy. Why? Because it's a gift. And fathers love to give gifts. A woman came to me weeks ago and said, Pastor Mike, I haven't received the gift of tongues. I fasted. I prayed. I read my Bible more. And I, I can't speak in tongues. Why haven't I? And I said, here's why. If the Holy Spirit gave you the gift of tongues, after you read your Bible more, and after you prayed more, it would be a reward not a gift you can't earn a gift I said you can't earn a gift you can only receive a gift the Bible says there was a young man named Philip a powerful apostle and he asked him do you have the Holy Spirit and the people said we've never heard of the Holy Spirit in most churches they never teach the Holy Spirit but tonight, my guest of honor is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and He wants to fill you and give you the gift of tongues. And He wants to give you the gift of prophecy. And He wants to give you the gift of healing. And He wants to give you the gift of discerning of spirits. I want to ask you one more time before I pray right now. Who wants the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Boston. Who wants the gift of tongues? Who wants the gift? All right, put your hands down for a moment. I want to prove something to you. There was a man named EJ. He led worship on my stage weeks ago in New York. He began to sing during worship. All of a sudden, he started speaking in tongues while he was singing. I thought he was speaking Spanish. So I said, keep singing, keep singing. When it was over, he came to me and he said, Pastor Mike, I've never sang in tongues before. I said, EJ, I thought you were speaking Spanish. He said, I have no idea what I was saying. All of a sudden, we got a message later that day. Someone messaged him and said, EJ, when did you learn how to speak fluent Brazilian? And he said, I don't know how to speak Brazilian. And the person said, yes, during worship, you were singing in Brazilian. And he said, well, what was I saying? And the person said, in fluent Brazilian, 
You were saying, I give all my devotion to you. I give all my devotion to you. You can watch it on our live stream. So there are lying spirits, religious spirits, spirits of tradition that will tell you that people don't speak in tongues anymore. But I tell you that the tongues of angels and the tongues of men are given as a gift today. Now I ask one more time, who wants to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to pray. And then at the count of three, no more English, no more Spanish, only tongues. You're going to feel it bubble up. You're going to feel the Holy Spirit take control. Let Him speak through you. Don't worry if it sounds like gibberish. Babies learn how to talk just a few syllables at a time. You will develop your prayer language. But He wants to baptize you now. Are you ready? Lift your hands from the front to the back. Because I came to Boston making sure you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for all those who desire it to be filled with the Holy Spirit and fire. And right now, I thank you for the gift of tongues. One, two, three. Now, baptize, Holy Spirit. Baptize. Come on, speak it out. Speak it out as he gives you utterance. No holding back. Unapologetic. Come on. Be bold. 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 Holy Spirit baptized now. Yes, yes. Baptize. Come on. Holy Spirit, baptize. Wow, look at this. Wow. That's it. Loose his tongue, Holy Spirit. This man's being baptized in the Holy Spirit. Come on. likely and the Lord chose me to so stay open stay open amen Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Fresh anointing. Fresh touch. 
such a strong anointing coming over you right now. Such a strong anointing coming over you right now. Wow. prophet Isaiah, who will I send? And you say, here am I, send me. Mark him, God. Mark him, God. Mark him with your anointing. Mark him.
of an old well of revival in Boston. There's a well of revival when this nation started. Where this song was sang. And they celebrated the freedom to sing it. And in 2022, we open the well of revival. We open the well of revival. Come on, just continue to sing. The angels are fighting on our behalf. There's warfare happening. Oh. Uh-huh. 